They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? <laughs> and be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. We have a bus to catch. or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. They are unpredictable and potentially... We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids would do any harm. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time.
Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces and the Arctic why? Why did they do it? Why? We got to some sources. The Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own. Or androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Cromwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third... Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. from the beginning. You just didn't want to see it. 
she wanted a mom, and you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words and they'll listen. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it and to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. 
If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. We shouldn't become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. I'll go join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Stay back or I'll shoot. Do you never have any doubts? You've never done something irrational? As if there's something inside you? Something more than your program. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide.
They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. What's going on, Carol? Quick, we've got to get out of here. Come on, go, go, go! Like rats in a maze. Hey, Carol! They're coming! The corridor, over there! Follow me! This way! Quick! There must be an exit further on. Come in! Quick! Buster! They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're gonna be slaughtered. Where's Josh? I don't know. We got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. The end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. Buddy. Don't let it get out. Give you any affirmative welcome. It's too late, Carol. Save yourself. Save Alice. No, we're not going to leave you behind. Right, Carl? We can't leave him. What are you doing? I won't leave you. Kara, no. You shouldn't have done that. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other.
stay here. There's more down there! Follow me! Find north. I'll join you later. Here. Quick, we gotta go. Any second, we gotta get out of here. Mm-hmm. 
Detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's over, Marcus. I just wanted us to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. I'm lost. The world's falling apart around me, and I'm trying to do the right thing. And I can't find any answers. I don't want to shed blood, whatever the color. But I can't let them slaughter us. I have to make a decision that is going to affect millions of lives. But I don't know what to do. I miss you, Carl. <laughs> I miss you so much. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border.
Marcus. Save our people. It's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus.
Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Now, if they want war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Please! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Please. Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Madam President! Please. Madam President, public opinion seems to be particularly hostile to the Deviants because of their violent behavior. Can you give us your perspective on that? The Deviants have proved to be very violent so far. They have demonstrated that they are a menace to society, and I have every intention of eliminating them. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead.
Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Agent 23 identified. Connor Android identified. Agent 47 identified. Scan complete. Access authorized. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Indicate your identity and destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. You'll feel better now. Thanks. Let's not stay here. What are we gonna do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I 
dead. Are there many more? Look at them, they're like rats. The more you look, the more you find. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. I'm freezing my nuts off. It's gonna take weeks to clean up this fucking city. Believe me, we are far from finished yet. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Come on, get moving. I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got get... orders to check all civilians. No, no, please. Fucking androids. Alice. She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. Alice. Luther! <laughs> I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time, we could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Until I say so. ID, please. They do realize 
there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? Our car just broke down. We're finishing on foot. We live nearby. He suspects something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She... She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Stay sharp. Shit! Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it.
Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I was sure. Shit, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You can't have lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. I found this on the floor. Thank you. Thank you. You... you saved our lives. I'm sorry, Alice. It's okay. You did the right thing. We'll find another way. I saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in.
and the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the android rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hard Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. Freedom or death? Freedom or death? Attack! They've regrouped. They outnumber us and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. Till it's over, okay? We 
can't move forward! That machine gun is taking down everything that moves! Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him, or the revolution. Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Are you really ready to let him die after all you've been through? Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right. All right. You win. Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him, we have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll don't take care move. of- move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. 
A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Anybody see you? No, no, no. I, I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Okay. And watch the current. Good luck. It's not even a half a mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. You take good care of yourselves. Okay, I'll see you on the other side. Better not fall in. Our bio components will freeze.
Far enough out. Let's get that engine going. I'll get it. You okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world, and play music, and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. We won't have to be afraid anymore. There won't be anybody giving us orders. No masters, no, no slaves. We'll start a new life. A life of freedom. What about you, Kara? What will you do? What will I do? I'll lie down in the grass and watch the clouds drift by. They've gone. Are you all right? Luther! Luther. They don't want you to die. You would have to continue the journey without me. Extraordinary person I ever met, Alice. I was a machine. You made me part of a family. Take good care of Carol. You promise? Luther. Leaking. We're too heavy. We're going down. We have to get to the other side before we sink. Come on. Come on. I'm sorry, Luther. Die, Alice. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be free. Kara! Kara, no! Don't do that.
The humans are abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We won. This is not a victory. It's the beginning of a war. And we're receiving particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're on live. What's happening down there? Androids. Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit right now. They are absolutely everywhere. It's... It's incredible. From what we can gather, these androids are coming from the Cyberlife Tower, which had thousands of machines stored in its assembly plant. And it seems that huge crowds are leaving the city. It's an exodus. Much of Detroit's population are trying to escape the fighting however they can. It's a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. For the first time in history, a U.S. city is falling into enemy hands. Today, November 11th, 2038, several million androids invaded the city of Detroit. Faced with the threat of mass civilian casualties, I had no choice but to order our armed forces to retreat. The events in Detroit have changed our world forever. Humanity must face a new reality, the emergence of another intelligent life form with whom we must share this planet. May God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. We're free. They want you to speak to them, Marcus. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda! What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. By the way, I always say you don't want to see any programs. Yeah.
time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. Today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today, will live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive and now we are free.
There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play, but I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. <laughs> 